So project for today, uh, this outer lens here for my 69 Corvette, I'm gonna polish this up so that it looks good like this one here. So this is the inner one, um, obviously with the reverse light. Uh, this one's brand new. Obviously you can see it's nice and shiny. So what I wanna do is take this old one, polish it up to look like this one. Um, Cause I, I don't wanna buy new lenses. These things are almost a hundred dollars now. So I'm just gonna polish this up and I'll show you what I do to do that. So I just use one of these polishing pads you can get pretty much at any hardware store. And uh, just goes on the end of a drill. You know, so I just have that on there. And it's small enough that, you know, it can kind of get in between the uh, stainless steel pieces here on this. And then I'll run it through here, this area. And all I'm doing with it is just putting some of this turtle wax uh, polishing compound on there. And you don't need a whole lot. I mean, you could do multiple steps if you were trying to get it to look brand new. I'm not going to go that crazy with it. Uh, you know, I could use this and then... If I had another one of these, you know, maybe one that's a little bit finer um, or softer, I could use like a polishing compound after the rubbing compound. I'm not gonna get that crazy with it. I just want it to shine up a little bit so that it's not dull. I mean, this thing is, it's pretty ugly in comparison to this one. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and I'll put some polishing compound on here and we'll see how this thing turns out. Actually, so I'll show you another one I did. Okay, so, so if you look at these here, they look pretty close. You know, this one here is polished up really nice. And uh, this one was just as ugly, maybe uglier than, uh, than the one I've got on the table over here. Yeah, so I think this one's actually nicer than, than that other one was. This one does have a crack in it. It's got a crack right here, and I super glued it from the back side. So I'll probably replace this one at some point, but this one will work for now. So go ahead and polish this up, see how it turns out. So we got compound on there. Let's see what happens here. Take a microfiber and polish it up. Wipe all the excess goop out of it. Yeah, now you can see it looks a whole lot better than it did. Still not perfect yet. I'll probably hit it maybe one more time. And uh, I've got a smaller uh, little polishing pad than this one here. If I put that on, I can get probably down in these down in these corners a little bit better. But even still, that's pretty good. I mean. That's a huge improvement from what it was just a minute ago. So I'll just hit it again and uh, then I'll put it on there and just call it good. So I couldn't find a smaller one, but I did find one that was taller. So this one might allow me to get, you know, in here a little bit better uh, without worrying about, you know, the edge of the drill touching the stainless steel trim here. So I'm gonna try that. 
see if we can get kind of down into these grooves here a little bit better with this one. go it's pretty decent i mean as good as it's going to get without putting too much time into it you know like i said it's got a crack in it so i'm going to replace it anyway but it'll get me by for now until i find another one so all right i'll put them on and show you what they look like It turned out pretty nice. Good enough for now anyway. Until I find some new ones. But yeah, just that little bit of elbow grease and uh, kind of goes a long way. It looks way better than it did. So anyway, hopefully that helps you out if you're trying to restore a couple of these old lenses. And uh, I know they are getting expensive. They're probably... What, 70 or 80 bucks for the cheapos and over 100 for the for the good american made ones so anyway that's about it for that video so uh if you liked it you know uh, like subscribe comment do all those things and uh, we'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching